This is the International Free Software Forum and approximately 4,000 people get together to discuss not only software but also about culture. We are going to have a round table where we are going to officially release the Creative Commons in Brazil. We hope that this will be the starting point, a turning point where Creative Commons goes mainstream in Brazil. Creative Commons was born to set culture free. And so our idea was to make it simple for creators and authors to mark their creative work with the freedoms that they intended their creative work to carry. We created a simple... Creative Commons is an international project creating possibilities so that an artist can say to the world that he doesn't care that other people can use his work creatively. It's a way for Brazil to discover Brazil. So here's the idea that has become so hard to get my fellow Americans to see. That creativity has always been about building on other people's creative work. <laughs> Creative co-authorship with people you've never met. Standing on the shoulders of your peers. It's what the internet is all about. Creative Commons basically does two things if you're an artist. The first is you produce a work. Let's say you record a song or you paint a painting. We give you a virtual stamp. You put the double C on it. Creative Commons put it on your website and it tells all your fans, it tells your community what they can and can't do with the work. So where regular copyright is all rights reserved, our copyright is some rights reserved. So the central idea of Creative Commons is to put into the hands of artists a convenient mechanism for surrendering a portion of their rights. It contains a variety of different license agreements depending upon how generous they want to be. So there's pretty much two kinds of things you can do with the licenses. One is you can put a license that allows people to copy your work for non-commercial purposes. So that license is really to make a clear way to say you can actually share my music, pass it on to your friends, just give me credit and don't make any money off it. And then the other piece of it which is even more interesting is uh, choosing a, a license that allows derivative works. The sampling license is a way if you're an artist and you want other artists to use your work creatively taking, you know, small parts of your work and recreating it. Anybody in the world, without having to ask permission, without having to call a lawyer, can take the song, combine it with their own music, take a sample from it, create a new beat for the back of it, and all of this for free. The idea is to remix culture in real time. If the 12 Bar Blues was under a copyright, uh, there would be no rock music today. Creativity always builds always on the past. The International Commons Project is right now porting 60 different countries. Uh, and we hope within two years all of those 60 countries will be up. We are the first country to get the sampling license and get a major artist to use it. And that's the case for Gilberto Gil. Gil is probably one of the most important musicians in the Brazilian history. He puts into practice the idea of multiculturalism because he gets things from rock and roll, he gets things from African beats, uh, he gets things from Europe, and he puts everything together in his music and it's so Brazilian. If I can describe Gilberto Gil in one sentence, I would say he's like the, the, the full Brazilian. The fact that Gil is now promoting the Creative Commons idea, it matches perfectly, fulfilling what you expect from his music 
O Creative Commons nasce do esforço dos libertários do cyberespaço, que passaram a operar como linha evolutiva no processo da construção das novas soluções. So his support of Creative Commons and of iCommons Brazil is really going to put Creative Commons on the map in a way it never could have uh, before. É neste sentido que o Ministério da, Cult da Cultura está participando do esforço de trazer à tona essas questões e encaminhá-las junto de maneira mais democrática, mais aberta, mais transparente possível essa questão junto com a sociedade brasileira. I appreciated that idea, the idea of inclusion. Every time a project comes, you know, dealing with this concept, I appreciate and I, I if I can, I follow, you know, I join. Disponibilizar a música do Edu. And then I signed my license today. I mean. So I, if we were a record company, we'd be quite proud to have signed Gilberto Gil as the first uh, licensor of his company. Creative Commons is something that we really need here in Brazil. Brazil is like a country where culture is really taken seriously. It opens such a large field for all these people to get their works seen. This is probably the, the largest newspaper in Brazil. And in the cover of it, you have DJ Dolores. And DJ Dolores was able to get a song from Gilberto Gil, and he was able to recreate this song, like to make it completely new. And that's because of the sampling license. The conceptual way of thinking about it is really, anyone in the world can then jam with Gilberto Gil. Just to give other colleagues the opportunity and give them a, a push. So we have to start preparing the world for the, the peace and the harmony and the understanding uh, possibilities for humanity. <laughs> The biggest potential of Gilberto Gil's announcement is to alert artists to how the system works and to reassure them that it's not catastrophic uh, to give back to the public. We think that there'll be something extraordinarily significant that comes out of this signature tonight from Gil. If we succeed in this, then it will, I think, truly change the dynamic of how a, a great deal of our culture gets made in share.
Ever, ever.